Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel, Whitney Sews. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sewing machine cover that is quilted and has ties on the side. But before we get into the tutorial, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So now let's get into the project. And the first thing you need to do is take the measurements of your sewing machine. You need to measure um, all the way over the top of the machine and if you have a permanent spool pin like I do, you need to measure over the top of that. As you can see, I did not because I didn't realize that until later. And then you also need to measure um, from the right to the left of your machine and get that measurement. So based on the measurements I got, I decided that a good size for a cover for my machine is about 18 by 25 inches. You can definitely make this with just one solid piece of fabric, which will make the project go a lot quicker. Um, or you can piece your cover together like I chose to because I had several different fabrics that I wanted to feature. And actually, if you go over to WhitneySews.com, I will have a corresponding blog post to this video where I have all of the measurements listed out that I cut all of my pieces to in case you want to make your cover exactly the same as mine if you have a similar machine. If you are using multiple fabrics, like I am, it's time to start sewing them together. Lay the first two right sides together, lining up the edges, and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Then open and iron flat. Lay on the next piece right sides together, sew, and iron. Keep repeating until all of your pieces have been sewn together. Decide what you want to use for your batting and backing material. I just used a piece of white flannel for the batting because I have tons of it. Layer them backing right sides down, then batting, and then the top right sides up. When everything is smoothed out flat, base the layers together. I decided to just pen base mine, but you can spray base or do whatever you want. Then quilt the cover however you want. I did some big stitch quilting using two strands of embroidery floss at a time. This is even a great project to practice some free motion quilting on. Once your quilting is done, use a ruler and rotary cutter to trim off any excess material and make sure everything is squared up. Next, cut three strips of fabric two and a quarter inches by the width of the fabric and one strip that is one and three quarter inches by the width of the fabric. Attach the three equal size strips together as shown by crossing them then sewing across at an angle. Double check that they open up to make one long strip Then fold the strip in half right sides out and iron. This is what we will be using for the binding. Trim the selvages off the remaining thinner strip and cut into four equal pieces. Fold and iron one short side of each in a half an inch. Then turn in both long sides so they don't quite meet in the middle and iron. <laughs> Lastly, fold it in half and iron again. Sew along the short side that was turned under and the long side. You will now have your four ties. Okay. Measure five to six inches up from each corner and pin your straps onto the back. Sew a few stitches across each with a quarter inch seam allowance from the edge to attach. Line up the cut edges of your binding with the edge of the cover and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance to attach. I'm planning on doing some more in-depth videos in the future about adding binding and finishing projects, so if you need more details, those should be helpful when they're posted. Once the binding is attached to the back, flip it to the front and finish with a top stitch close to the edge. Make sure to pull the ties out to the side while top stitching so they do not get sewn across again. Then you're done! Just drape the cover over your machine and tie the straps, and now your machine will stay cleaner and dust free when not in use. Okay. 
This cover can also be laid flat and placed under your sewing machine while you're sewing to protect your tabletop. And I hope you liked this tutorial and all the other ones I post here on Whitney Sews and that you will support in any way that you can. A like or a share goes such a long way and is very appreciated as well as everything that is donated through the fan funding option here on YouTube because everything that's donated, hello, goes to help support future Whitney Sews tutorials. Um, so anyway, I will be back next Wednesday with another video. And until then, happy sewing! Look, he won't take a nap. Oh, yeah, you won't take a nap. Mwah. Can you say bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye. You got show him. You got show him. You got your kitty booty on. <gasps> yeah, you <laughs> your smiles. <gasps> oh, you got your kitty cat booty on. Yeah. Show me pretty smiles again. <gasps> I know. You show me smiles. Cause you're so cute. Yeah, you're cute. Even though you won't sleep, you're cute.